Hello, today we're going to talk about boring holes through wood the way it used to be done yesteryear. It took far more work, but absolutely no electricity at all in order to bore holes using a brace and these auger type bits. Welcome back to Survival Existence. Hello, today we're going to talk about braces and bits. These braces were what was used in yesteryear to bore holes in wood to uh, attach one piece of wood to another. This brace and these auger type bits is what was commonly used. Even to this day you can still buy brace and bits from different places. You can buy them brand new from some manufacturers and uh, quite often you can find perfectly good used ones at flea markets and garage sales. A brace functions by putting a bit in the chuck or the collet and turning it. This collet holds the bit and these two fingers. Whenever you purchase one of these, make sure that everything that belongs with the brace is there, including these fingers. This brace is also directional. Let me tighten this call it down and I'll show what I mean. You can leave this collar in the middle and it will not ratchet either way. You can turn it one way and it'll ratchet this way so that you can actually get up against a wall or something else and ratchet around and continue to bore a hole up next to the wall. By the same token, if you need to remove it, you just simply turn this collet the other way and you can back it right back out. These fingers that are tightened down by this collet open and close around the bits to hold them in place while you're boring a hole. A brace such as this was used quite a few years ago to uh, bore holes whenever you needed a hole bored through a uh, piece of wood whether it was say uh, a tree or part of a tree, a log, whenever uh, you were constructing a cabin, or if it was actually a milled board in order to uh, attach a board or anything else with a bolt or even a wooden dowel. These bracing bits were designed to use this type of an auger bit. If you'll notice, right on the end, it has a screw point. That's to help feed this auger into the wood and bore the hole. A regular bit doesn't have that, nor does a spade bit, although you can use a spade bit or a regular bit in these brace. In order to use these bracing bits, I'm going to uh, loosen this collet, let these fingers down, and insert the bit and tighten it up and show you how it bores a hole. These bits fit different from a regular round bit. You'll seat it all the way down, but you have it diagonally in these fingers and a couple of grooves that are fit in there. You just simply make sure that it is good and tight. And you bore the hole with the brace by turning it. And this is what I'm talking about whenever you get up against something and you need to be able to bore a hole in a particular place, such as I, me having the C-clamp in a position that gets in the way. In order to avoid that, I will simply start feeding the screw part of that auger into the wood. I'll still be able to bore the hole straight. Once this bit starts feeding, it'll feed help pull itself by itself and I'm able to use the ratcheting function of this brace in order to bore this hole where I actually need it. And I don't have to press terribly hard on top of this because the screw on the bottom of that auger type bit actually helps pull the bit back in there. If I don't need the hole all the way to the bottom, I can simply turn this collet 
back this way and back that bit completely out until the screw is out of there and I have a hole. Now I will attach this larger auger bit into the brace and I'll bore a larger hole with this bit. There again this bit has a screw end on it and it helps feed this auger and the cutting surface into the wood and you don't have to press so hard with this type of bit. Now I can bore this all the way through or simply back it out if I don't need the hole all the way through. As I was saying before, these brace will also accept a regular wood bit and you can bore a hole with it, but you have to press down harder because it doesn't have the screw to help pull the bit through the wood. But it will work. Now I'm bored completely through. And I'll just simply reverse it back out of there. And just like the regular higher speed wood bit, the spade bit will also work, but you have to push hard on it too in order to bore that hole. Using some of the older type tools isn't difficult, although it can be physically challenging, certainly a lot more difficult than simply plugging in a uh, drill and drilling a hole out. But nonetheless, this doesn't take electricity. And if worse comes to worse in our economy, in our country, and we still will have to carry on with life, still need to be able to bore holes to construct items, whether it's housing or uh, any other particular type of uh, structure that we need to build, whether there's electricity or not. These bracing bits were used for many, many years and are still used in quite often in areas where there is no electricity available or someone doesn't have a uh, generator in order to run electrical items such as drills and saws. This particular bracing bit is probably as old if not older than I am. They belong to my grandfather and we also had them when I was growing up and used them to bore holes. As a matter of fact, in shop class while I was in junior high and high school, we still use them instead of using power tools because they were safe and you were a whole lot less likely to uh, make a mistake with a bracing bit and injure yourself or destroy expensive pieces of wood. The day may come again whenever we need to uh, have manual hand tools such as a bracing bit and saws and other items along that line that were tools of yesteryear but nonetheless functioned quite well. Whenever you're out and about and you go by flea markets, garage sales and other places like that, quite often you'll find these old tools that are still perfectly serviceable in and of themselves. Pick them up, they usually don't cost that much and uh, they're still quite useful and certainly would be useful in in a grid down situation. This has been Bobby with Survival Existence helping you help yourself. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, come visit us on Facebook, and visit us at our website at survivalexistence.com. Have a good day.